Hi guys, it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, I do mean over the top beautiful day. Here in the end times in paradise, here at Bugs in a Jar Farm, uh, it is Monday, May 24th, 2021, and guys, uh, it is a beautiful but bittersweet day here at Bugs in a Jar, and there just comes a point, you know, when you figure out that the universe is sending you a message, Ugh! and uh, so today is the day that I rip out these goddamn uh, tomato plants that I have been hauling around for going on three months, you know, planting these damn things in Florida, taking care of them down there in Florida, uh, moving them all around the damn country to get here to Bugs in a Jar Farm and have them turn into this. I, I think I... It, 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 they might have made it, you know, when I got here, it went down to freezing pretty much every single night. I don't know what, I sent some home with Sandy, not sure what they're doing. I just talked to Sandy and told her she could have all of my tomatoes uh, because my baby tomatoes are getting ripped out of the ground. I'll leave a couple of them. I'm actually going to eat a cherry tomato. That is my crop. There you go. Another dream. Another dream dies. Another manifestation. Uh, you know, like everything else, gardening is such a metaphor for life. You know, you can always use gardening metaphors. They're so convenient. And uh, so, not sure what this is a metaphor for. Uh, this is a metaphor. We're going to talk about manifesting. You know, ever since I got into uh, Don Juan Matus 25 years ago, I have tried to... Uh, be a manifester. Uh, so I have, you know, as I say, I have been uh, manifesting the vision of these beautiful tomatoes here at Bugs in a Jar Farm for how many months now? You know, I, I did everything I could do. Uh, or did I? You know, this is the question. Whenever a manifestation, whenever you set a vision for yourself, and uh, everything seems to be going right, and then just out of the blue at the last minute it falls through. When you set a vision and you hold on to it and uh, actually start thinking how... Uh, things are going to actually work out in your life. Just, you, you, you know, you, you wonder, did I, did I not try hard enough? Is, is this the problem here? Did I not try hard enough? Uh, did I try too hard? Now that is some, sometimes a problem with manifesting is, is you try too hard. So maybe, Maybe I put too much work into manifesting this vision. Uh, who knows? Uh, but for whatever reason, you do what you can do, and then the uh, and the universe just tells you it ain't gonna happen, and you start getting little signs. I, I you know, I started getting these subtle little signs. Uh, it was even before I put these in here. Uh, I, I could see 
literally uh, my plants dying on the vine. We're going to leave these two. I'm going to leave these two. They have earned a place. Maybe I'll... No. I'm going to leave these two to uh, carry on. Uh, so... I anyway, uh, you know, I had, I had signs going back even before I planted these that my little romantic vision of, uh, of, of, of trying to control the universe uh, <laughs> what was, what was, what was going to bear fruit, and but I started realizing it was not going to bear fruit, and that once a fucking again, uh, I had been kidding myself, but I, uh, you know, I talked to my astrologer tarot card reading friend Ariel, and uh in uh, Atlanta uh, about this and uh, her reading of the cards was well well Hambone you, you know just go on about your damn life that's all you can do is uh, you do what you can do and uh, go ahead just go on with your life and uh, if the universe is is going to uh, you know, if the universe is going to help you with your manifestation, uh, it's going to. But, there, you know, there's only so much you can do. You can just, you, you can uh, have your little romantic visions. You can hold the intention. You know, uh, Don Juan talks about that a whole lot. Uh, you, you can hold an intention. Hell, you can hold an intention for two damn years and uh, do everything you can to get the universe to line up with you and then uh, and then the little whisper from spirit you start hearing the little whisper from spirit that uh, maybe it's time to uh, make a new plan Make a new plan uh, and then deal with what the universe gives you on that plan. Uh, I don't know, guys. Sounds about right to me. So, uh, yeah, kind of like that pond. You know, my little romantic vision of that pond. Here it bugs in a jar. How. You know, I was going to have this beautiful pond up here, uh, you know, looking beautiful, irrigating things, uh, fishing, you know, getting fish out of it, maybe swimming on hot summer days, and instead I got a fucking asteroid strike. Uh, <laughs> Yep, that fucking pond is already going dry. That pond is already going dry. It's fucking May 24th. And uh, here I am talking about setting up a goddamn pump. Pumping water out of the creek to uh, save my little uh, manifestation vision. It bugs in a jar, but... Uh, you know... It's all we can do, guys. All we can do is do what we can do. And uh, sometimes your little romantic visions just don't turn out. And it hurts like hell. It hurts like hell. But uh, as they say, usually, you know, another one of these... Uh, little things the Bliss Ninnies like to talk about is how you will eventually discover when you when you face a setback what you uh, what you interpret as a setback 
to your, I don't know, to your dreams, your visions, whatever you want to call them, that, uh, and you suffer some blow and some disappointment and heartbreak, uh, that there's usually, you're, you're going to find a, uh, the reason why, you know, the old saw about every cloud has a silver lining. Uh, so I don't know. I guess when, uh, I'm hoping the silver lining from this latest, uh, little setback at Bugs in a Jar Farm, or, you know, the, here's my new vision. We're going to start with these gorgeous, uh, little tomato and pepper plants. So anyway, uh, wish it could have turned out, but, uh, for whatever reason, the universe has said, nope, ain't going to happen this time around for you, Hambo, and, uh, who knows. But it is a gorgeous day, and, uh, Time marches on, and I'm going to march on planting these absolutely gorgeous baby tomatoes, giving them a new home, and hope they appreciate what Hambone has to offer them. I'm hoping these little tomatoes will appreciate what Bugs in a Jar Farm has to offer them, and uh, bear some delicious fruit here in the near future. Get out there and set your vision while you still can. Just, uh, just, uh, <laughs> you, you, you know, just understand that there's only so much you can do. And at some point, you just have to let the universe uh, decide for itself. Bye, guys.